Uh, next is from Jared Aviot, and the subject is Hoovy's Push in 1998. Hey, K100 <laughs> fam. Um, hope everyone's doing well. Disco fever must be real thing is he got pretty hot and persnickety last time I graciously complimented him, complimented him on his role at the Shake Shack, a.k.a. Full Metal <laughs> I won't do it again anytime soon. Just to spend him another week for, <laughs> for the mailbag. There you go. On to my question. The Juicy Juice himself had a heck of a push in 1998 in WCW after he lost his mask. He even had a pay-per-view victory over Ron Reese during this time. Who were big fans of Huey during this, this time behind the scenes? And was it mainly Kevin Sullivan or was it more than just one person? And did Conan have to convince anyone that Hoovy had a good look and great personality under the mask? Just curious as to the sudden push of Hoovy back in 1998. I don't remember this. Maybe Conan might. Um, do you remember his push in 98? Yeah, so basically they just felt like he was a good-looking guy. We really had the long hair, and they were like, "Let's take his mask off and let's push him." Don't right. you remember, bro, that he did that one video that was kind of like a Zorro? Oh, that's right. That was very, very, yeah. very, uh, very I cheesy. Mean, yeah, very, right. <laughs> but you're right. He was a good-looking guy, you know, with long hair. Just like they, they, we were kind of more into like you know over here. We, were, you know, we weren't that big in the masks. Like they were getting together. If guys were good looking, they were like, "Why is this guy got a mask?" It's like we weren't taking telling Lepar going to take his mask off. That's what. But it's like true. Ray, take your mask off. Hoovy, take your. These guys are good looking. You have uh, psychosis. Take your mask off. It's just you know. So right. Yeah. Well, so that's what that 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 was the sudden push. Right. Not only that, he was mega talented. Right, but I wanted. I do want to say this. Um, uh, yeah. The back in when when Russo took over. Russo right. became a big fan of Hoovy because he loved hearing Hoovy do commentary. Remember Russo right. put Hoovy on commentary? Right, because Ziggler's brutal. Because <laughs> he was so, Ziggler's just brutal. He was unfiltered. <laughs> you know, he was talking. I'll never forget there was a match he was talking about. You know, Duggan was out there, right? And like Hoovy in the commentary was talking about, you know, the D Duggan, you know, he doesn't like, basically saying, hey, look, he's not that good of a worker. You know, it doesn't really do much out there, but it's good entertainment because the people like it. You know, <laughs> if you can find, I'm gonna try and find that. But there's definitely a Duggan match where Hoovy's doing commentary. Hoovy doesn't realize he's burying Duggan's work and basically just talking a bit, but the guy's over. It was a, right. it was a funny little bit, you know. So, 